Hello, in today's video, I'm going to talk about one ingredient to avoid, and that's carrageenan. This ingredient is a food additive found in many processed foods today, including those labeled as natural and organic. Carrageenan is also common in many vegetarian and vegan products due to reasons you'll soon find out. So what is carrageenan exactly? Carrageenan is derived from red algae or seaweed. It is commonly boiled and blended to reach its final state. Most carrageenan is alkaline processed without alcohol, making it preferable for food manufacturing since it's not degraded. However, if alcohol process boiled in an alcohol solution, it becomes degraded and turns into polygenon, which is inflammatory and linked to a host of diseases and illnesses. It's noted that lab animals are sometimes given polygenon to induce inflammation for drug trials. As a food additive, carrageenan acts as a preservative, prolonging a product's shelf life and nutrients. It also serves as a binder, thickener, stabilizer, and more. In short, it improves the texture, taste, and appearance of food. It ensures that separation doesn't occur among ingredients. Similar ways to gelatin, it is an excellent replacement in vegan foods. Typical foods that have carrageenan are non-dairy milk such as almond, coconut, and hemp milk kefir, creamers, cheese, ice cream, yogurt, deli meat, frozen food, canned soups, infant formulas, and nutritional drinks. Even beer and pet food have carrageenan. This additive is also a non-food item such as toothpaste and medication. It's often an active ingredient that helps treat or relieve coughs, pain, and swelling. Interestingly enough, it's used to treat intestinal problems and peptic ulcers. Beyond the reasons previously mentioned, manufacturers also use carrageenan because it's cheaper than the alternative of using multiple or more expensive food additives to achieve their desired results. If they opt for the latter, their products would be more expensive for the consumer. Also, carrageenan has no flavor or nutritional value. It simply serves to improve the texture and appearance of food and therefore taste since the food is properly bound and texturized. At this point, carrageenan doesn't sound all that bad, at least compared to its non-alcoholic version polygenon. But does that mean it's safe for consumption, especially long-term consumption? Though many consider carrageenan a natural ingredient because of where it's derived from and how it's made, that doesn't mean it's healthy or safe to consume. Just because something is natural doesn't mean it's meant to be consumed or even in large amounts. Carrageenan continues to be a controversial food additive in the health and food industry because there haven't been many or any human studies done on its long-term effects on humans. However, several animal studies from the 1980s until now have linked carrageenan to cancer and inflammation, such as the International Agency for Research on Cancer, which did a study in 1982 concluding that polygenon produced cancer in animals. It's important to note that this was for degraded carrageenan. Nevertheless, some researchers urged the FDA to reconsider restricting the use of dietary carrageenan as they found cancer-promoting effects in experimental studies with undegraded carrageenan as well. In 1972, the FDA did consider restricting the additive but didn't follow through. Since the 1960s, researchers and health advocates have stressed how carrageenan had been linked to gastrointestinal issues and therefore shouldn't be used as medication. But there have also been some researchers who state that in small doses, carrageenan doesn't have any negative health effects, especially the food-grade, non-degraded form of carrageenan. And despite many convincing animal studies, there hasn't been any human studies or adequate studies proving the danger of undegraded carrageenan. So it is still approved as a safe food additive by the FDA, HWO, and JECFA. But it's important to note that in 2016, the National Organic Standards Board remove carrageenan from their approved list, which means any food that contains carrageenan can't be labeled as USDA organic. Despite all this controversy over carrageenan, should you continue to consume it? I say no because though there haven't been any solid human studies on the long-term health effects of consuming carrageenan, the animal studies are a cause for concern because they have linked carrageenan, whether degraded or undegraded, to negative health outcomes in animals such as large intestine ulcers in guinea pigs and rabbits, colorectal and liver cancer, glucose intolerance and insulin resistance in mice and human cells, inflammation and more. Among the consumers who experienced gastrointestinal problems, bloating and inflammatory bowel disease, those conditions were eliminated when they removed carrageenan products from their diet. Though carrageenan is derived from a natural source, it's still altered in the heating process which often can change the composition and health factor of a resource. 
Plus, when you don't produce such products for yourself, you can never be 100% certain that they are purely made. With no solid evidence that carrageenan is a healthy food additive, it's best to treat it as an unhealthy food additive. Ideally, keep in your diet primarily, if not entirely, a whole food diet with fresh and natural fruits, vegetables, grains, and such, plus making your own foods from scratch will protect you from consuming harmful products that, though approved as okay to consume by the food industry, long term may not be the case. Thank you so much for watching. I encourage you to further investigate Carrageenan to get a full understanding of what it is, its safety concerns, and the controversy surrounding it. I hope I provided enough information to give you a solid scope of this ingredient to avoid. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and share so others can be informed of this food additive as well. Subscribe for more whole food and nutrition videos, and until next time, take care.